We've had issues with the boys' health a little bit. Austin's kneecap, unfortunately, dislocated again a few days ago. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. Guys, it has been a long time since we've been able to video. We just had a lot of health issues. Kids are sick, Carmen is now sick, and we've had issues with the boys' health a little bit. Austin's kneecap, unfortunately, dislocated again a few days ago. It went to the inside this time instead of the outside. He was riding his dirt bike, went over a little jump, and his kneecap popped off. Thankfully, he was able to straighten his knee back out and get that back in place. So, he'll be going back to the orthopedic surgeon next week to see what needs to be done with that. I think it's his MPFL just is not strong strong enough, not tight enough to hold his kneecap in place. And so it's slipping to the inside now and we definitely got to get that checked out. So we will let you guys know what happens there. Owen has been trying to get his back healthy ever since he hurt his ribs a few weeks ago at his first scrimmage. His back has been killing him. We've been in and out of the chiropractor. We've done all sorts of things. <laughs> so just took him to a chiropractor today that really works on turning the muscles back on and helping with that kind of stuff. And he's finally feeling some relief. So he has his second football game tonight that we will show you guys. I'm going to add some highlights from his first football game that I filmed. We just didn't get an entire video out of it. But I want you guys to see some of those, so I'll add those in here as well. And hopefully you guys enjoy watching him play some football with us tonight. Larson to kick off for the Miners, back to return for the Knights. Number 24, Sam Wright. Number 82, Owen McNeil. Getting him all ready to head down to the field. He's got all of his gear strung out here. He's number 82. Kind of hard to see this, but he happened to catch that. That's his number. He will be playing running back today. What other position are you playing today? Just running back? Yep. All right. So along with running back, Owen will also be playing on some special teams. He does kick return, and they may be putting him in at wide receiver today. So we'll see how that goes. He's been working hard on learning the plays. There is a lot to know to play offense. He's actually been practicing defense this entire time, and they just switched him over to offense a few weeks ago. Been working really hard to get that all figured out, and excited to see what they have him do today. I got Owen dropped off at the high school, getting ready to warm up and go over their game plan for this game that's coming up. Like I said, poor little Carmen has been sick the last couple of days. You know what? This usually happens to us. The kids go to school for a week and then all of a sudden we're sick. <laughs> so the boys actually had this same stuff last week and now she has it and we're just trying to get her feeling better. She's actually missed the last two days of school so she is going to hang out here at home with Claire while we go watch Owen play football tonight. Tommy, how are you feeling? Right now, feeling a little I'm better? Okay, I'm laying down. If you're laying down you feel okay? Darn it. At least Oliver's here to give you some comfort. <laughs> He's been snuggling with you for a while, huh? Holly boy. I'm so tired. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Hopefully we get you feeling better soon so you can go back to school and back to playing with your friends. Yeah, I don't really want to go back to school because it's boring sitting here at home. It's true, it's very boring. Yeah. This is the worst part about starting school is I feel like everybody gets sick at the beginning of the year no matter what. We have sickness that goes through us all. It's honestly been like the worst summer for sickness for our family that we've had in a really, really long time. We've all kind of had it over the last couple of weeks and hopefully this is our turn to have it and we're done with it for the rest of the year. We can be healthy going into the holidays and do not have to worry about being sick anymore.
Jackson with the five yard touchdown run. Touchdown Knights! We are just getting back from Owen's football game. They played amazing tonight, much better than last week. They actually won, I think it was 37 to zero. So I could say they played pretty well. Owen had a fantastic run, 26 yards. I thought he made it into the end zone, but he stepped out of bounds, so they called it back. But they played so well. They ended up calling the game in the third quarter because it was starting to rain and thunder and lightning. And we were just beating them so far that it was kind of just like mercy rule. <laughs> Let's just be done with this. So we got out of there a little bit early, but super proud of how Owen played and looking forward to next week as well guys it has been a while i have been working like crazy 12 to 14 hours a day just trying to keep up with the workload it has been insane but today i was in a house at salt lake i walked in the door and there was a weird smell now this house is empty the homeowners are not living there right now they are staying up in idaho but uh so i walked in the door and there was a weird smell and i thought it was the plumbing pipes but it was not we have those all covered we typically do that so i decided to check the fridge i opened up the fridge door and the freezer and the power was off the smell came out of there, hit me in the face. I had to run outside. Unfortunately, I was vomiting everywhere. It was that bad. I was outside trying to compose myself. I could smell it from like standing on the street. It was so strong, but I had to, I knew I had to get it out of there somehow. So I grabbed a mask. I grabbed a bucket and some gloves. I went back inside. I used Terry's trick that she taught me to breathe through my mouth, right? <laughs> It's true, it works. <laughs> <laughs> I have been known to throw up a few times changing some baby's diapers. So Terry's like, you gotta breathe through your mouth. So I was trying that and it was still getting to me, but I uh, used the gloves, the bucket, got it cleaned out, got all the doors and windows opened up and it was just an absolute nightmare. My electricians had been there about a week and a half before and did not check the fridge. So I had to call them up, have words with them. They will be buying a lot of food for uh, our clients and also maybe a new fridge. A lot of times you can't get that smell out. And so it like gets inside like the insulation goes through the air filter whatever that's what i've heard so right, we're gonna definitely try and have it deep cleaned put some baking soda in there and see if we can get that smell out of there claire is just getting home from mutual claire we all want to know how seventh grade is going tell going us good it's going good you got to give us more than that five of my classes i've never like been tardy to class really that's good yeah i think uh, both your brothers have been tardy this year probably yeah. there's a couple classes i don't like but really couple classes I didn't like. Are you liking the locker situation? Because I know you did not have one in grade school. Are you liking ha having a locker? Yeah, I don't know. They're kind of okay. I mean, really? I don't care. <laughs> I know you got a lot of stuff in there because I know that I actually purchased it off Amazon, which means we got to have a locker tour coming up. We're going to find out what's in Claire. <laughs> what's, what's in Claire McNeil's locker? Are you meeting any new friends? I literally yeah, I only have a mirror, a whiteboard, and a drawer in my locker. That's and, it. and a drawer. That's it. I think I've bought a few other things. That was it. So, it, so friends, are they girls? Are they boys? Have you? Mm, mainly girls. Mainly girls. Okay, good. That's what I was hoping for. And some boys. What? <laughs> Blair? No, you tell them no. Uh, that's my choice. <laughs> Guys, I know that Claire has more stuff in her locker and we are gonna do a locker tour on her sometime in the near future and actually see what's in there and kind of do a surprise so she doesn't have time to clean it or anything. <laughs> Maybe she's got some secret notes or something. That I feel candy like we should I'm read. For. Some, oh, some candy. Treats. Oh, I see. <laughs> I could have some planted in there by someone I know at the school. I like that. Just so you'll have stuff to chew on while we shoot the video. <laughs> Alright guys, also, we have round two of the epoxy table coming up. If you want to pick a different color, now's the time. How about you guys let us know in the comments? The last color didn't turn out that great. It was, Did you remember it was kind of like well, it was the epoxy. Like well, the, you're supposed to go for like a smoky color, but it ended up being just straight up black, which is not really what we wanted. And then it all fell apart. And anyway, just a disaster. Yeah. So I've actually got another epoxy job that I'm doing right now, kind of getting same some of the same bubbles, but uh, I've got to pour another layer, and I think that'll fill them all in. So I think I have all the salt before so. we get to ours. <laughs> I hope just, so. just so you know. But if we put in less black pigment, it will go that smoky color. Last time I think we put in 10 drops for three gallons of epoxy. So if we put in like like five maybe that might do the trick That's a good so plan. Uh, we're gonna film that here very soon could be a lot of fun so make sure you guys come back for that we appreciate you watching we love you see you guys tomorrow hopefully <laughs>